American Indians, and therefore Lakotas have been here a long, long time. American Indians have been here in North America, 12,700 years. Non-Indians have been here at best in North America, 300 and some years. 300 and some versus 12,000 and some. That's us, the Oglawas. We roamed all over. I think homeland was probably from Minnesota all the way to the Rockies. The first encounters that existed were encounters that came from Platte River. And this Platte River was right in the area where Fort Laramie had been established. I think the first encounters with the white man were people that they never seen before. I never had they seen one with light skin. So they were very curious. I think the thing that differs from later time is that they were more willing to befriend each other. And then in that befriendment, uh, there was trade. The friendship was really the origins. They were interested in what was going on. They thought if they just want to go by, we'll let them go by. But when they started coming in numbers, they began to question that. They said, when will that stop? And still asking that question, you know, when will it ever stop? These immigrants were coming across on these trails uh, down south of here along the Platte River, and they also cut up through uh, the Bighorn Mountains. And so these trails brought all these visitors where they dug for gold in the Black Hills. They just uh, were, I guess, were friendly initially. I mean, the Lakota were. And they welcomed originally the, uh, the white people. As they come in and more came in, a lot more, into the Black Hills and they start taking out the uh, gold and all that stuff, that's when they started to have problems with them. Uh, it started like, I, I guess, uh, a river starts. There's a gentle flow, and then it gets larger, and it gets larger and larger. In this part of the country, uh, there's a migratory route of the main stay of uh, the Teton people, and that's the buffalo. This is where we have these Swashichus coming through along like the Oregon Trail, for instance, and the the uh, the denuding of the landscape by these wagons and by the oxens and by the horses and all the other livestock that are just eating everything in this wide swath. And then by the, the men, the hunters with these expeditions or these uh, wagon trains, they're, they're out hunting all of the game within maybe 20 or 30 miles on either side. They're just killing everything in order to feed themselves. So these are having these negative consequences on, on Lakota society. And no one tribe was self-sufficient. The whole idea was this integrated network. And so you had trading going on. So Lakotas counted on the buffaloes. And when these uh, wagon trains came in and disrupted the herd, basically you cut the herd in half. And so then Lakotas cannot uh, uh, obtain the resources to, to trade with these other tribes. So this had disastrous effects on, on Lakota uh, society. We had no concept of war. We had territorial fights, yes, but yet at the same time, we could live with one another. But here was something that was encroaching on the people's use of the land that was there. And so there became a resistance. So to me, the word red cloud war would be better addressed as red clouds resistance. We don't have Lakota words that can translate the English words violations and violence. Whether we as Lakota people are warlike, savages, or barbaric people, we aren't. And so history, again, uh, is counter to the perception and the perspective of the Lakota. The white man tried to Christianize our people, especially with this Mormon trail that passed through. And the Mormons especially, you know, tried to influence and took many of our children, raised them in Utah as Mormons, but they came home. 
the things that we have that are different that we have to acknowledge and respect is language. Um, we speak Lakota. It's not just the language we speak, but it's also who we are. We are no longer nomadic. Our buffalo herds are growing. Our land is still shrinking. We still have our language. We are still here. We survived all these years, all these centuries and eons. So as long as we believe in the way we do, we will be here for a long time.